All right, folks, we are carrying on with MechWarrior 4, uh, the, the series. Um, taking on the last one in the group, MechWarrior 4, Mercenaries. Uh, arguably the best one. <laughs> really fantastic game. Um, it improves on basically every every aspect of the uh, the first two. I don't know if skipping all of these intro splash screens skips the open cinematic, so I'm not going to. Um, all of this is, well, I'm not going to talk over it. Please, kids. Hmm. I didn't know that. It was 27, the year the Fedcom Civil War reached the boiling point. The media saw us as young gods, lords of war, striding the battlefield in our engines of destruction. The holobids captured our stories and spun them to the masses. For some, it was a time of terrible sacrifice and loss. Others, it was a time of great opportunity. Well, there it is, MacQuarrie Four Mercenaries. Um, I guess I just never paid attention to that WizKid splash screen before, because they would do like I don't know, tabletop type stuff. I, I guess that makes sense, right? I don't know. Um. <clears throat> Anyway, right off the bat, you might have noticed in that uh, little intro, several new mechs from Black Knight. Um, and uh, unfortunately, I think I may have mentioned this before, uh, there's several mechs that showed up in that intro cinematic um, that we will not be able to acquire or use. And uh, they'll be in the game. We'll be able to kill them. The enemy can use them, but we can't. They're part of those uh, clan and inner sphere mech packs that uh, I could not get working. Um, even even on my uh, old computer, my Windows XP tower that I built specifically for old games, um, joystick and everything, 32-bit, all that good stuff for old stuff for old games, you know. Um, even even on that. I still could not get the uh, mech pack expansion things to install. Um, whatever DRM they used on there really did a number on it, and apparently no one has ever bothered to crack it. So, um, all right, let's. Oh, that didn't work. I'm trying to. What is going on here? Oh dear. Um, tried to make it full screen and it, it it's just crashing now. All right, let's close out of that. Let's try this again. I know I made this full screen before. Okay, yep, blah, blah, blah. Let's try it now. Uh, okay. For whatever reason, it is not letting me make it full screen. Well, that's annoying. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, we will pers I guess I really should have tested this. I mean, this one was really finicky to get running. Um, so I, uh, I had a, I found a no CD crack for it, and, um, I believe I did it correctly, but it still asks for the CD. <laughs> um, but it actually recognizes when I mount the ISO, so it's all good. It runs. Um, anyway, creating your profile is a little different in this one. There's four different factions you can essentially sign under. 
you got the Kelhounds, Grey Death Legion, Northwind Highlanders, and Wolf's Dragoons. Um, uh, so each one, it, you, you, you do the same missions no matter who you pick, right? Um, but, well, they say, yeah, you have access to all the same stuff, same missions no matter who you pick. Um, each one is a little different, though. Um, so if you if you mouse over them, it gives you a little description down here of you know what what they're all about. But the the main important thing is like the last sentence that that tells you exactly what you'll be getting by picking one. Uh, so for example, if we go with the Kelhounds, we can expect better than average starting equipment and early access to clan technology. That's pretty good. Um, Gray Death Legion, uh, we can expect more than average starting money and early access to powerful lost tech weapons whatever lost tech weapons are i never never found that out um northwind highlanders they get a higher rate of pay than average uh wolf's dragoons you can start with clan technology and have greater access to purchasing additional clan tech i personally like the wolf's dragoons so that's what we are going to do Okay, uh, okay, yeah, there's the sound. I was about to be like, there's no sound. <laughs> um, all right, another thing to note. This is the original retail release of MechWarrior for Mercenaries. Um, back in, I don't know, 2015, 14, somewhere, somewhere around there, um, the mercenaries became like i don't know open source somehow and the modding group called mech tech picked it up and uh i don't know did a bunch of stuff under the hood made it be able to run on windows you know 10 modern systems whatever added in a truckload of new mechs and weapons and all kinds of crazy stuff and uh you know on paper it was like wow this is great, but I uh, I still prefer the retail release for the campaign um, because all the other stuff is horribly imbalanced in the campaign. Um, so we are playing the retail release now that that's out of the way. Um, let's see, I need to set this up again because a new profile. I wish that this was just like a global setting instead of per profile, but that's fine. There we go. Now I think the last thing I need to do is the zoom window. Toggle zoom window. Okay. Great. Um, now that I have the roster made, let's try one more time full screen nope <sighs> all right well that's gonna be annoying because I'm pretty sure yeah whatever blah 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 pretty sure I managed to to have it be full screen before but oh well on your end, it'll look fine. Uh, right. Into the campaign we go. Welcome to the command center, Commander. The first step in securing a contract is the star system overview. From there, you can view contracts available in each system. Once you travel to a star system, you can click on the orbital view button to see more details about the contracts mm -hmm. available. It's the just free market allows you to buy or sell mechs stuff. and armaments and hire new lance mates. The mech lab allows you to modify the loadouts of your mech. Nothing we don't already know. Alright, now that she's done. So this is kind of our overview command center type place. Um, you know, there's who we're sponsored by, there's our you know stuff. Um, we have a rating. It's pretty bad right now. Um, based on how we get how good equipment we have. Uh, we have a bank account balance now, so we can actually bank money, unlike in Black Knight. And this is our uh, upkeep expense currently. So we have four 
and a half million C bills, and we pay 383,000 a cycle. Um, it's currently January 1st, 3066. Uh, this is from the uh, what is that? MRPC, the Mercenary Review and Bonding Commission, basically saying, "Hey, congrats on your new, your new mercenary unit. You're amazing." Um, it's a lot of reading that doesn't really. I don't know. I've never actually read this. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Um, here's some stats. It's obviously nothing right now because we haven't done anything. Um, and uh, yeah. So, star systems. This is a map of the inner sphere. Um, each region, each of these colored regions here, denote different areas of control by a great house. Um, except for up here. These are like, I don't know, I forget what those are, but they're not great houses. Um, so like this over here is, I think this is Davion, or it's the Federated Suns. I think it's, I don't know. I forget the general position of everything. I think Steiner is down here or over here somewhere. I don't know. My memory of the inner sphere is hazy at best. Um, I think this is House Liao, this green thing here. And the purple or blue is like the Libran Alliance or something. I don't know. I'm probably making a fool of myself by trying to talk about that. Um, anyway, we're on Outreach. You might remember that from the uh, little cheesy mercenary commercials from Black Knight. That's where we are. There's nothing to do here. Um, that's just where our offices are. Um, we have two systems we can go to, Eaton and Halloran 5. Um, Halloran 5 is uh, easier to get a start with than Eaton, so that's where we're going. Um, and when you click on one, it'll give you kind of an overview of uh, what you can expect to find there. Uh, so you see Coastal Defense, Search and Destroy, Light, Light, Employer, Transpax Corporation, uh, and it's a neutral alignment. So as we go through the game, we can choose to ultimately, you know, there'll be like random people like Transpax or whatever. But as far as the houses go, we can choose to either side with Davion or Steiner. Because this takes place in the Steiner-Davion war or conflict or whatever it's called i don't know um so anyway uh we have to pay 125,000 c bills for to jump to halloran 5 and it'll take us one week so uh, yes there we go now the uh the jump cost can go up as uh the farther away the planet is and the more stuff we bring with us uh, Alright, so it's been one week, so now it's January 8th. Um, let's see, Steiner just declared war on New Sirtis. Um, again, I have never read this, so if you want to, you can pause the video and read it. It's some lore, if you're into that type of thing. Um, I don't know. Alright, two missions. Um, offshore and Checkpoint. Uh, offshore is generally easier to start Our with. main opposition in this engagement will come from Halloran 5 militia naval units. A large task force of naval vessels lies several miles off the coastline, consisting of two destroyer groups and the aerospace carrier Indignation. The Navy is not expecting any resistance, so a good bloody nose should send them packing. Alright, so right off the bat, this is again a little different. We now have the availability, not in this mission, but in... Uh, future missions of fielding a second lance. Um, so you can see here we'll get uh, 1,750,000 C bills. It'll currently, to drop just me and my cooter, will cost us 52,000 C bills. Um, we have a new TAC person, obviously. Her name's Castle. Uh, we have some very kind of meh people to start with here. Um, Rufus sucks. Shredder's okay. Hannibal's pretty good. But um, anyway, let's go to the mech lab. Uh, yeah, it's going to be fast, spinning fast like that because um, it's not full screen. So I uh, apologize for that because if I try and make it full screen, it will crash. So 
we'll just have to deal with it. Um, so we start with a bunch of junk. The cougars and oolers are pretty good, but these, these things, fleas, they're new, but they are literally the worst. Worst. Worst mech ever. Three little machine guns and a small laser. Absolute garbage. So, uh, we're going to go to the free market. And we're going to sell all of them. And just like that, nine million, nine million bucks. Um, Alright, also, Rufus, you are fired. Uh, you suck. <laughs> so let's see. Bulldog's... Okay, I think uh, Mustang is top-notch. Uh, oh, bullseye, that's what's pretty good. Yeah, bullseye, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll buy them fire shredder, and uh, that'll be our lance for now. Claymore's pretty good too. Um, Gator, Beowulf, Blaze. There's some good ones in there, and there's some horrible, horrible ones. Uh, each of these also has a per cycle expense, as you can see, weekly salary etc. down there in the little description. Um, oh, the colors. So blue means that they're just regular lance mates. Yellow means that they can command your second lance. Um, right. Now then. Since we are in the whatever. Bolster dunes. I'm going to sell all of this junk. Pretty useless. Okay, we can buy some pretty good stuff right off the bat. We have a Puma, which is basically a light version of a New Zeal. Uh, it comes with two PPCs. It's pretty great for a light mech. But what we want is the Hellhound. It's a clan uh, medium mech, and it is amazing. Um, and we can buy it right from the start because we signed with the uh, Wolf's Dragoons. So we're going to go ahead and buy it. Oh, no. oh god, I wish it didn't spin so fast. It's pretty nasty. Um, it's pretty good right out of the box. Uh, I gotta say. There's really not much that is worth changing on it. Anyway, uh, there's a bunch of new... Uh, new paint jobs, which is going to be a pain to look at because of how fast this thing spins. Uh, there's some returning ones, some new ones. Um, I think war paint has been in all of them so far. Uh, the Steiner ones, twirl, oh god, yeah. Game day, oh yeah, it's kind of funny. Um, like a, I don't know. Uh, bullseye. Get some really wacky ones. Cracked up's always pretty good. Um, hot foot. Hot foot. Interesting. Uh, Dragoon. That's technically our, our colors. I don't get why they drop um, camouflage from, you know, some camouflage and some other ones and whatnot. Um, Alright, whatever. Good enough. I'm not going to mess too much with the uh, camouflage because the fast spinning is really, really screwing me. Um, Alright, so we're going to take the Hellhound. Um, we got Hannibal, we got Mustang, we got Bullseye. It's our crack team. Uh, you can have a cougar, you can have a cougar, and you can have an oiler. So as you see, as I assign more stuff, the, uh, the drop fee goes up. Um, we don't actually need that many people for this. Um, I mean, it's cheap enough though, so I don't care. The Transpac's coastal facilities are straight ahead to the south. A total of four large offshore platforms are its nav points Alpha oh, and Beta. Oops. The residential... Uh, 
There we go. Now point Gamma and Delta. Spectre 1, this is Deneb Control. Looks like you got here just in time. We show multiple inbound vectors in the water running coded signals on the military band. Over. Roger, Deneb. Heading to Alpha for visual confirmation. Alpha Doc confirms militia watercraft escorting barge. Looks like they came to do a little shopping. I'm sure they won't mind if we check their credentials. Moving to engage. Foolish militia dogs. Don't they know who I am? Can it? Take these guys out and minimize damage to the docks. Roger. Oh, Roger, God. six. Roger. Roger, Lee. This is the NEP control. Militia units have opened fire on the platforms. Take them out quick. Roger, we're on it. Spectre out. Okay, my mouse is really... really sticky when it's not full screen. Yikes. Nav point alpha reached. Ah. It's gonna be very hard to play. <laughs> Alpha looks clear of hostiles. Status report? A second oh, set man. of signals coming in from the east. Wait one. Data confirms another barge and some hovercraft. Barge is withdrawing. Condors and harasses are coming in fast and hard. Making best speed to beta. Roger, Spectre. Copy. Roger. That's actually a little better. I just increased the DPI on my mouse and it seems like it's a bit smoother now. Yeah. That's a little better. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. Enemy detected. Oh, hovercraft moving up fast. Engaging hovercraft. They're moving on to the base. Nav point beta reached. So there's some fuel tanks over here that they're going to try and blow up. And if we... Two large lasers didn't kill that. Hmm. Well... Uh, if we do save the fuel tanks, we get an extra 500,000 sea bills, so we want to do that, but... Watch out for the fuel tanks, Vector 1. That whole area is a powder keg waiting for a spark. Wait for a clear shot. Vector 1, be advised. Dotscom shows the destroyer Reynolds moving in from the task force. The carrier is launching nightshade okay. in support. ETA, one minute to your location. Hovercraft neutralized. Um, it's not better. Mouse sensitivity, turn it up. This is the NEP control. Turret grid is at 80% efficiency. We can't handle the destroyer unsupported. Move uh -oh. your lands to intercept, Commander. Oh, okay, Spectre Lance. Now we earn that check. Enemy I'll give it my detected. best, sir. Enemy flyboys heading our way. Enemy detected. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Why does the mouse suck Target so bad destroyed. when it's windowed like this? Like I swear, what is going on here? Maybe if I turn it down all the way? That's probably a horrible idea. Oh yeah, now it doesn't do anything at all. <laughs> all the way up. God, the, just looking up and down is so bad. What the... That side to side is twitchy as hell. Enemy detected. Oh, hope you guys didn't need your command center there. Get in close to the destroyer and their turrets like will have a hard time tracking down, us. But like, big up and down is very hard. Oh my goodness. Also, you might notice that the uh, LBX AC-10 sounds completely different than it did in That's all right, though. That did it. Great work, Spectre One. Looks like you were worth the money. Don't you forget it. Excellent work, Commander. I'll upload our mission report to Merknet and have new contract office ready by the time you're out of refit. Affirmative control. <sighs> Spectre One out. I would really Transpact like to... Transpact has verified uh... mission success and released... Our... It is unlikely the naval militia will give up with just a bloody nose. Though nothing is on Merknet right now, I wouldn't be surprised to see us on defensive duty with them again. 
Alright, so there's our mission payment, bonus award for the fuel, expenses, and then our new balance. And so we got some nobility and some Steiner alignment. Um, yeah, whatever I was doing with the mouse, it uh, did not... Did not work well. Uh, yeah. Alright, can uh, escort or do checkpoint? Uh, if we do escort, that is a Steiner alignment. Um, we get 220,000, it's very close. Um, we'll go with checkpoint. Or actually, well, I, I haven't I haven't really decided who, who we're going to go with, because you get a different ending, depending on if you go with Steiner, Davion, or... Well, if you go with Steiner, you have an option of two endings. Um, if you go with Davion, you only have one. Um, I don't know. We'll this is a standard search and destroy mission. Militia forces are congregated around the roadblock stations and a pair of bivouacs. Anticipate ground armor and light mech defenders. So, uh, you know, we can get a hell spawn. Nothing else really worthwhile right now. Um, okay, Spectre Lance, give a ready report and go weapons hot. This is Mustang, ready up. This is Bullseye. Give me a target. This is Hannibal. Inspector Lance is ready up. Roger, Commander. You're a little over a kilometer out from the first checkpoint. Their ground radar will pick you up before you spot them. Make your best speed to Alpha. Acknowledged. Moving on Alpha. Full throttle. Oh, Close yeah. up and form on me. Roger. 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 Contact. Yeah, 900 reason. meters. Somebody was snoozing at their radar. Take out the command tent and barracks first. Roger. Try not to get in a crossfire with those turrets and tanks, people. Here we go. Enemy mech at Alpha. We're violating the holler and protect our outpost. We're ordered to power down and surrender your mechs. Spunky little fella, don't you think? Roger. <laughs> Take out the designated target. Roger, Spectre. Roger. Roger, Spectre. Looks like that Hellspawn came up minus a pilot. Leave it for salvage. It is good. Target Checkpointed Alpha has been eliminated. Moving to Beta. Spectre 1, I show a squadron of choppers redirecting to your position. Maintain air watch alert. What are you idiots shooting at? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's why I was killing the tents. There's a hell spawn that shut down there, and uh, we'll get it for salvage now. Roger. Roger, Roger, Spectre. Uh, and that mech, um, they thought was a new one. It's called an Owens. It's basically a light version of the catapult. Um, packs two LRM-15s and two medium lasers. Not the biggest fan of it. Oh, there's another one now. Copy. Roger, Lee. Roger, Spectre. Targets destroyed. Targets destroyed. Target eliminated. I could have sworn that I made this Target full screen destroyed. when I was testing it. Target destroyed. But I guess maybe I'm misremembering and thinking that I was doing it on my... Beta outpost eliminated. Uh, doing it on my, old, my uh, Windows XP system. It runs great on there. <laughs> But Enemy detected. that comes with its own annoyances of how do I record it? I don't even know if choppers are history. Forward. Good work, Specter Lance. Yep, I don't even know if that can run OBS. Like. <laughs> It's got a uh, 
Pentium 4. Target destroyed. And a Radeon. An ATI. Mind you, ATI Radeon. 3650. Uh, so not... Not amazing by any means. Um, I mean, for what I'd be playing on it, it's pretty good, but... Roger, Six. Roger. Um, Roger, Spectre. I don't know if it could handle OBS. Definitely probably couldn't handle streaming. <laughs> Not that I would ever, ever want to connect that thing to the internet. Um, I guess you know, like another option would be to get like a capture card, but those are kind of expensive. Like I looked at them when I uh, when I was making the systems, I was like, oh, this will be great. Get a capture card, Roger, go all Roger. out on it, Roger, and uh, have a good time. I can use my joystick. Uh, that's another thing. Um, another thing I did. I, uh, I got a Microsoft Sidewinder 3D Pro joystick. Um, that is, oh, there's the Puma. Um, little, little mini Uziel, essentially. 2ER. Whoops. Get out of this zoom window. 2 Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Missing because I can't aim. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Why is this so bad? Um, uh, yeah, that was the joystick that uh, that I originally played these games uh, with, along with Earth Siege and uh, Silent destroyed. Thunder, A10 Warhog, Comanche Gold, um, all the Mech Warrior games. Oh, there was something else that we used it for. Great job, team. Castle, let's get salvage in here. But, um, Looks like a pretty good haul. Affirmative, sir. TAC Ops will be on site in 30 minutes. We'll have the mobile field base online within the hour. Castle out. I forget if I talked about this before, but it Front uses... has confirmed oh the God, checkpoints are clear and has already begun running convoys with light armor escorts along the mountain highways. At this time, it looks like militia forces are spread too thin to reconstitute the stations. Um, yeah, I don't know if I talked about it before, but apparently this joystick is like the most finicky thing in the world. Um, so it uses something called Gameport, which was a proprietary, well not proprietary, but it was a, uh, it was the standard joystick connection back in like the 90s. Um, totally unsupported now. Usually built into the sound card of all things. Um, and uh, at the time a lot of things were analog, but then Microsoft came out with the Sidewinder 3D Pro and it uses this weird proprietary digital uh, protocol, um, which a lot of things didn't play nice with, um, and, uh, then, you know, USB started to become the prevalent thing instead of game port, and, uh, for most joysticks, you know, they were analog, and it was just a simple pass-through, so they just basically remapped the game port pins to USB, good to go. Not so with the Sidewinder. 3D Pro because it uses that weird digital thing, so you can't just get an adapter and call it a day. Um, no, you need an actual game port and the drivers for it, except it doesn't run in Windows XP. 98, uh, I think 2000, might have been even 98 was the last one that it actually ran in. Um, this thing is old, but it's still, in my opinion, one of the best joysticks you can get. Um, so I don't, I don't like that. Oh look, we're already at a D minus. Woo! Um, here's some more lore. It's now January 22nd. Whatever. Uh, sure. Um, but I don't like any of the other joysticks on the market right now. They like, they, they just, I don't know. It's not the same. So I wanted, I wanted the real deal. So I, I bought. The Sidewinder 3D Pro, I got a sound card, I was like, alright, let's go. I try and hook it up under XP, and it's like, doesn't know what to do with it, because the, the, the digital thing and the drivers wouldn't work on XP. Like, it just, it would not let me install them. Um, so what I ended up doing, um, there's apparently a whole, whole mess of other people that feel the same way about this joystick that I do. And they have found a way to make a, their own hardware adapter for it using a breadboard and a teensy board and a DB9 plug 
and you, you essentially make your own game port, except you program the Teensy board with a custom driver that decodes the digital signal and passes it to the OS. And it's amazing, because it essentially makes it plug and play on any version of Windows. You plug it in, it's like, oh, I got a USB joystick here. Here's some, here you go. Um, it, uh, I can't use it on my Windows 10 system, though, because in order to even get the MechWarrior games to run oops, on uh, Windows 10, uh, you have to specifically disable uh, the, the joystick functionality um, because they rely on an old protocol or DLL or something that's no longer no longer used and it will simply crash if it can't detect it and obviously it's not going to be able to detect it because it hasn't been a thing since like Windows XP so that's why I can't use the joystick on this um, I don't even know how I got started talking about this I don't know capture cards right whatever they're expensive and I was like do I really want to pay a hundred bucks just for a capture card I don't know, maybe. So I'm planning on redoing my system. Um, so I managed, finally, to get an RTX 3070. Hallelujah. Um, so next time we do some Half-Life Alex. Well, I'll probably do Half-Life Alex before this is even uploaded, but it'll probably look better. Um, anyway, that's enough random babbling. Next missions. Now uh, we have Halloran 5 Offshore A. So this is follow-up to the uh, the first one that we did. As they said, there would be more defense contracts. So more defense contracts it is. Um, it seems the militia navy isn't giving up so easy on the Transpax Deneb facility. Transpax is happy enough with our performance from last time that we are being offered first option on a renewed defense contract. So we have the option to bring a few more people. I'm not going to bother. We don't need it. These missions are easy. It'll just cost us more money. We got some Owens. We got a Hell Spawn. The salvage doesn't come with any weapons, unlike the uh, <laughs> other games. Um, Hell Spawn's kind of junky anyway. Like hell, I'd rather. Sell it and an Owens and buy a Puma. Like, for real. Wait. Okay, good. <laughs> I just saw the red firepower and I was like, hold on. Better come with weapons. Welcome back, Spectre One. Uh, nice to have someone we can count on back. The units rotating through here have been less than reliable. Sorry to hear that, Control. Looks like you've seen some action since we left. Roger that. Let's get your lance out on patrol in the harbor area. We know the destroyers are bold in Harrington around maneuvers in the region. We've had a few skirmishes with lighter watercraft, but since we upgraded our primary turrets to Calliope's, they haven't come too close. Acknowledge. Moving to harbor. Castle, this is Spectre. Any word on available air support? Affirmative, sir. I've coordinated for a flight of stilettos to provide close support on the operation. Excellent. Remind me to work out an appropriate bonus for you. Why, you already have, sir. Signed and dated this morning. All right. Um. Enemy vessel group moving on western dock. We need support at Alpha. Over. Moving to Alpha. Light them up, people. Roger. They won't get far. Bring Calliope's online. Uh, maybe, maybe one day, you know, I will get a capture card. But, um, at that point, I don't know, I'd probably also want a KVM or something, because right now, um, it's kind of a pain, because I, I just have my the Windows XP thing stuck in my back room. It's put away. Um, so I don't have space for it on my desk for another keyboard and mouse. You know, I'd want a KVM so that I could switch switch one monitor and my keyboard and mouse between them and just have it shoved under my desk and that, that'd be a pretty good setup I think. Um, Spectre 1, the second wave is moving in on Eastern Dock. We mark both destroyers moving in to support their attack. Immediate support needed at Nav Point Beta. Castle, let's get those stilettos in here, double time. Harpy, you are go for interdiction. Assume attack vectors. Roger, Harpy inbound on destroyer group. Contact minus three zero seconds. Roger, lead. Roger, Spectre. Roger. And, uh, you know, then 
um, Enemy detected. slap capture card in my, Engaging a my half system. Dozen watercraft. Squad of hovers making for the shoreline. Detected. Pass the, uh, Enemy detected. you know, the monitor cables through Target it. Nav point um, beta reached. So we, we are once again offered a 500 grand. Ah, Five hundred grand uh, bonus, keeping the fuel tanks alive. So that's what we're gonna do. Oop, not enough range for those. Why? Why those? This is essentially more of the same. The, uh, the other mission. Just now there's two destroyers. For whatever reason, oh yeah, we have friendly planes. That's what that is right there. They're kind of not very helpful, but... Harpy returning for refuel and rearm. Hope we helped. Roger. Thanks for the flyby, Harpy. Spectre out. Detected. Yeah, there's the other destroyer. Roger. Copy. Roger six. Go kill it, people. Um, but yeah, not at that point. Um, play a lot of a lot of good old stuff. Um, so I have uh, I have my original copies of all of the Age of Empires games. So original retail releases. None of this, you know, HD enhanced edition, definitive edition, or whatever the heck they're doing with them now. Um, I have the original retail copies of um, the Lego Star Wars games, which I like better than the complete saga bundle. All naval forces destroyed. Harbor secure. Damn fine work, Commander. Hopefully we won't have to fend off those pirates again. We'll see, Control. They seem pretty determined to bring this place under militia control. It's quiet for now, sir. Best get your lamps back and be briefed. ASAP. Roger. En route. Spectre out. Targets destroyed. Targets destroyed. Target destroyed. That's the second time we've secured Deneb Station, Commander. Local sources that Admiral Carrington is bringing in mech support to make an example of the Transpax facility. Transpax has several calls in with us regarding another defensive engagement. Um, for whatever reason, this keeps giving us Steiner, even though it says it's neutral, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, uh, what else do I have on there? Yeah, I have Earth Siege, um, Comanche, um, Tomb Raider. I have the original Tomb Raiders installed on there. I, I got a bunch of great old stuff on there that uh, I'd like to potentially play, and I would need a capture card to do that. So maybe, maybe one day I'll justify it. Um, but for now, uh, I think we're going to wrap it up as we are running fairly late. I'm going to see if I can't get this to behave with full screen because uh, I don't know it, it's kind of annoying not having it in full screen so we'll see anyway thank you all for watching as always and we'll see you in the next one let me come back with more mech warrior for mercenary